At first we have the major scale and to build the chord we will use the first note, the third and the fifth. So if we have for example the C major scale we will need the C as a root, the E note as a third and G note as the fifth. Sometimes we used to call the thirds big or great thirds because there is a distance of two tones between the third and the root note. Now let's find the chords on the fretboard of the guitar. In the minor scale, we will take the first, flat third and the fifth notes. As an example, on the A minor scale, we have the A note as a root, C as a flat third, and we can call it small third because the distance between the third and the root note on the minor scale is only one and a half tone, and the fifth note, which is the E note. Let's find the chords on the guitar now. In the augmented scale, we will need the first as a root, the third and the sharp fifth notes at this time. For example, in the C scale, we have the C note as the root, E note as the third and G sharp as the fifth note. And we have to say that the augmented chords are formed by the major scale. We just make the fifth note sharp. Let's play the chords on the fretboard now. Now we are moving to the diminished scale to find the chords. Here we will use the first, the flat third and the flat fifth notes. The diminished chords are formed by the minor scale. For example, in A diminished scale we have got the A, C and E flat notes. Let's have a look at the fretboard now to find the chords. Now we are going to look at two modern chords called suspending chords or sas for brevity, which basically means that one note has been suspended, is missing, and this note is the third note. These chords from many years ago, if you were trying to say that to a classical musician, they would not be able to imagine a chord with the third note missing. However, music evolves just like our lives. So, we have SAS 2 and SAS 4 chords. We have to say that 
we can't call the suspending chords major or minor because the major and minor chords are determined by the third note as we know. On SAS 2 we are playing the first, the second instead of the third and the fifth note and on the SAS 4 we play the first, the fourth note instead of the third and the fifth. Now let's see how to play these chords. I hope I helped with this video today guys, do like if you want and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any episodes or lessons or tips and tricks in the future. Stay tuned, thank you.